I will uh, talk about the oscillations and oscillators, ideal oscillators, damped oscillators, and forced and damped oscillators. It turns out that uh, to make life simple there, to make computations uh, very simple, uh, it's better to use complex numbers. And I want to say a few uh, things about those. Uh, complex number is, you can represent it as a vector. Let, let me call this complex number z. And this uh, vector, like any vector, has a magnitude, which I will call z, and the theta. So uh, to write a, a complex number, we can say its magnitude and its angle. Or we can uh, represent it with these uh, Cartesian components, zx, so this is x, this is y, zx, zy. This is the polar representation, this is the Cartesian representation. It's obvious that uh, z squared, the, the magnitude is zx squared plus zy squared. And zx is z cosinus theta, z squared, cosinus squared theta plus sine squared theta. That's z. Okay. Uh, now, if this is a complex number, how, how do you uh, make operations with these numbers? We can add them or uh, we can subtract them, it's the same, or we can multiply them. So suppose we are adding two complex numbers. We will simply add their uh, components z1x plus z1, uh, z2x z1y plus z2y. So this is just like adding vectors. If you are multiplying z1, z2, it is better to use the polar representation. Then uh, this is a number z, which has a magnitude, which is these two, and an angle which is theta 1 plus theta 2. So uh, if we are multiplying uh, two complex numbers, we are multiplying their magnitudes and we are adding their angles. And if we are adding them, we are adding their uh, x components and the y components. When we say z is a complex of zx and zy, or rather x and y, there is a nice mnemonic device. Uh, mnemonic device means to remind us uh, this is an ordered pair. So the first one and the second one. The first one we shall call the real part of z. This one we shall call the imaginary part of z. And to emphasize which one is the first part, which one is the second part, we use x plus i, y. So i, when i multiplies, you know it's the second part. And i has these properties, i square, i to the 0 is 1, i is i, i to the square is minus 1, i to the cube is minus i, and i to the fourth is i squared times i squared is plus 1. Well, we are back to here again. So it is uh, periodic in multiplication in this fashion. OK. We define a, a complex conjugate. So if z is 
in the polar representation z and theta, then the complex conjugate is z and minus theta. So you see z z star is multiply the magnitudes, that's z squared, and add the angles, theta minus theta, which is 0, z squared. So we can say that z is the square root of z and z star. Okay, And uh, easily we can uh, say the tangent theta, it is, this is zy, zx, tangent theta is zy over zx, or y over x. Now, I want to, these are just complex numbers. I want to introduce now uh, something uh, very interesting, a uh, phaser that we shall use a lot. Phaser is this uh, right e to the i omega t. So uh, this angle phase is omega t, and the magnitude, if this is z, uh, I should mention that uh, cosine theta plus i sine theta can be represented as e to the i theta. Okay, so here theta is omega t. So you see its real part is cosine omega t. So the magnitude is one. And this thing is uh, rotating uh, like this. I can uh, write it like this, e to the i omega t, t over t. Omega t is 2 pi, it is i, 2 pi, t over t. So uh, at time equals 0, this is time equals 0. At time t over 4, it's at pi over 2, we simply read the angle uh, from here. You just look at here, that's your angle. So at t equals t over 4, you are here. t equals t over 4. Here, t equals t over 2. And here, t equals 3 over 4 t. And this is again t equals 4 t over 4, or just t. So this thing is simply uh, rotating uh, with the angular speed that theta, theta dot is d by dt omega t omega. Okay. So it's a, a vector in the complex plane of magnitude one. It is uh, rotating with uniform angular speed omega and completes one uh, cycle, one round in time t given by 2 pi over omega. Okay. So that's our uh, phase, phaser. So when we have equations that are linear in x, we will turn uh, this, and if we have harmonic behavior, harmonic behavior means cosine omega t, sine omega t, we shall write x physical, the real x will be the real of x hat, and uh, x hat will be proportional to e to the i omega t. Depending on the problem, we will choose different uh, omegas in, in the problems. Uh, we shall use a lot uh, of uh, averagings in our uh, examples. And let me just uh, do that. If a physical is real part of a0 e to the i omega t, and B physical is real 
e0 e to the i omega t. And suppose we want to find that they have the same omega. That's important. Suppose we want to find the physical, a physical, b physical over the cycle. t equals 2 pi over omega. This is, of course, 1 over t, 0 to t, dt. A P of T, B P of T. Remember, these are bilinear, uh, namely bilinear, linear in A, linear in B. Uh, multiplication is bilinear. So, for example, energy V square, kinetic energy, is bilinear in V. Potential energy of the, the oscillator is X square. 1 half kx squared, bilinear in x. Uh, so uh, we will have such averages. Let me just do it uh, once, and then we can use in our applications the formulas uh, uh, right away. In fact, it's a good formula to memorize, to remember. So let's write AP is, it's the real part, so it is 1 half of a0 e to the i omega t plus A0 star e to the minus i omega t. How did it happen like this? Let me write. A0 is magnitude times e to the i phi a. And the real part AP is a0 cosine omega t plus phi a. And if you look at here, this is e to the uh, i omega t plus phi a, and this is e to the minus i omega t phi a. A0 remains to this common, so it is 2 cosine, 2 cancel, it's ap. So uh, 1 over t. Uh, then we have 1 over 4, 0 to t, dt. Now we'll write in wrong. A0 e to the i omega t plus A0 star e to the minus i omega t. Same thing with b. I already put the 1 over 2 of the b. B0 e to the i omega t plus B0 star e to the minus i omega t. The only thing that will contribute to the integral are the e to the i omega t, e to the minus i omega t. When you multiply, it's 1. Therefore, it is 1 t to the fourth. And a0, b0 star plus uh, a0 star b0 times t, so t is cancelled, equals. So if uh, this is a complex number, let's say c plus id, but this is the complex conjugate of it. So it is c minus id. So the comp imaginary parts cancelled. So it is 1 over 4. Two times the uh, two times c, which translate in, into here one over two. Real part of a zero b zero star, which is the one half of real part of uh, a zero star, which is the same thing b zero. Okay. This is a p b p over the cycle. So this is a wonderful formula that we can uh, take the averages of bilinear quantities uh, very simply just by using that. This is enough uh, to follow all, all that's coming about oscillations. <laughs>